Hello and welcome to uh, COM 375, the first edition of Design Right Studio for summer 2016. And I'm going to walk through the steps in doing my first Tiddly Wiki exercise and a little bit of description of what happens in Tiddly Wiki. And then we'll move on to readings as soon as we're done here. Um, so this assumes, by the way, that you have um, done successful, successful installation of the Design Right Toolkit, primarily that you've got a Dropbox account. Firefox and Tiddlyfox. The rest we're not going to really focus on today, but I assume that you've downloaded the TiddlyWiki and we'll play in Zoom at some point and Google Apps you should have already. So really we're down to here. As um, soon as I'm done this video, there'll be a link to this video right there. So here's the steps and directions. What we're doing is creating a new wiki. Okay, so I want you to go to tiddlywiki.com and I'm going to type this over here in this browser. This is Firefox. And you do need two browsers for this class, one for reading, I use Chrome, one for writing, I use Firefox. So we're gonna to go to tiddlywiki.com, you'll do this over and over again. Download empty, and I'm gonna share it, and I wanna put it in my Dropbox, I assume that you've installed that. And I'm gonna create a new folder called COM375, or whatever you'd like to call it, create. And I'm gonna name this, it says somewhere to name it, First wiki, first wiki. That h and the h dot html comes, so that's good. Firefox documents save, okay, and it's there. That's the first step. The next is to um, we've downloaded it. Now we have to open the saved Tiddly wiki in Firefox. I'm going to hit file, open file, file open file, and it should be right where I left it, but you can also go to Dropbox, here's your new folder, first week it at HTML, and you should see, should ask you, do you want to save it? And that didn't ask me, that makes me a little nervous, so I'm going to do that again. You go to tiddlywiki.com, I think because I might have had one named that already. I'm going to download empty, I'm going to save it to 375, I'm going to call it first wiki 2html save it file open file first wiki 2 and this is the message i'm looking for from a javascript application called tiddlyfox do you want to enable tiddlywiki file saving for this file and the answer is yes i do now it's here i'm going to title this my first wiki my changes should show up right here, and I'm gonna save that, and I should get the saved wiki button. That's looking good. Just to double check it, I'm gonna reload the wiki, and it still should be called my first wiki. Okay, now we're gonna create a new tiddler called local URL. Here's the plus button, new tiddler. I'm gonna call it local URL, and it wants me to copy and paste the URL of this file into that tiddler. It should be file colon slash 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 and then something it should end on firstwiki.html. I'm going to save the tiddler. This red box should this red check should turn gray and the saved wiki message should appear. I've done my first tiddler, that's good. And let's create an about me tiddler again. New. I'm going to call it about me, I'm going to write it in camel case, so no spaces. Camel case over here tells you that it's written in capital letters with a capital letter in the middle, a hump like a camel, um, and that turns it automatically into a link, as you'll see. So we're going to create the about me tiddler. Um, brief introduction, one or two sentences. My name is Steve. I have several goats in the bar, and um, save it, goats in the bar. Now that's a link to Tiddler that doesn't exist, so I'm going to click on it, edit it, yes, I said goats, and I'll save that. Okay, and then when we go back to about me, we'll see that this is now no longer italicized, but a link to goats in the bar. OK, 
Okay, that's the About Me Tiddler. You need to view this Tiddly Wiki in Dropbox. This is the trickiest thing you have to do in the entire semester. Okay, notice this is being served, file colon slash slash slash. This is a URL on my local drive. I need to make it so that others can view it. I'm gonna to go to Firefox, you copy the most recent link, copy link. I'm gonna to go to Chrome, open a new tab in Chrome, and paste the link, but don't hit return. I'm gonna paste the link and not hit return. I'm pausing for a minute. I pasted the link, I did not hit return. I need to change this www to dl. That's it. Change that www to dl, then hit return. And now my tiddly, with my about me, my wiki, with my goats in the barn, is being served to people on the web. I can add tiddlers to it, but I can't make this red box go away unless I save it, and that's just, no. It's not gonna save automatically. Read in Chrome, and I said Chrome to have this crazy theme, grass, right in Firefox, I made it gray so I can really tell the difference. If I go to close this, I'm gonna save my, copy my URL, okay? If I close it, it's gonna say, um, did you really wanna save that? It didn't, but it should have. I'm gonna open it again, paste it, create a new tiddler, save it, and now when I close it, it's gonna say, hey, navigate away from this page, and yes, I want to, my changes are lost, they're gone. Leave this page. One more time, cut and paste. There's my link. Okay, this is the link I need to share. The next step in our project, we viewed the Tiddly Wiki in Dropbox. Now we have to make a permalink. And there's these six steps. We've already done step one, open it in the Dropbox link. Now we want to navigate to the tiddler we want to link to. In this case, we're going to click Recent, and we want to link to About Me. I'm going to click on More Actions, Close Other Tiddlers, so I've only got that one tiddler left. More Actions, make a permalink. Notice it writes the link up in there, About Me. I'm going to copy that URL. That's the one I want to share. Go back to the Design Right Studio page. I've got my URL. I'm supposed to test it in another browser. Okay, in another window in your browser. New window, paste. This should open up right to About Me. It does, excellent. Now we've got to share my TiddlyWiki. Click the form. Paste the permalink here. Paste my name, Steve Schneider. and. Paste my, um, this is my first wiki. And this is my third attempt at doing this exercise. Scroll down and click submit. Looks good. And then let's see if it's been shared. It takes about five to 10 minutes. Um, here's the two previous attempts, and we're just gonna click this. When we click on this link, it will take us to one that I deleted because it was bad. So I'm gonna get rid of that link. Um, I think this will take us to the course website. It does. And within a few minutes, there'll be a third link there. Um, not sure why it's not there yet, but it'll show up. Okay, hopefully that helps you a lot. And um, let me know if these videos are helpful. See you in the Google group.